Your Biljax Bottle 3632T Boom Lift is a versatile, user-friendly machine designed to position the operator at working heights of up to 42 feet while providing continuous 360 degree rotation and a horizontal outreach of up to 32 feet. However, as with any piece of equipment, the operator of this lift is subject to certain hazards that can only be protected against by the diligent exercise of intelligence and common sense. You, the operator, are responsible for the safety of yourself and that of your coworkers. Use the boom lift only for its intended purpose. Misuse of your lift can result in serious injury or death. This video is to familiarize yourself with the proper operation of your boom lift. It is meant as a supplement to the operator's manual provided with the lift and is not designed to replace or in any way supersede the instructions found in the manual and on the lift. All operators must thoroughly read and understand the operator's manual as well as all decals on the lift prior to use. This lift is designed for safe use. Do not bypass any safety devices. Altering this machine in any manner may cause serious injury or death. Before hitching the lift to the tow vehicle, be sure the boom is completely lowered and resting in the transport cradle and that the boom transport latch is engaged and locked. Next, confirm that the platform is in the transport position. To move the platform into transport position, release platform lock pins, rotate platform towards boom, and secure with latch. With the platform in the transport position, you are ready to secure the boom lift to the towing vehicle. Be certain that the trailer coupler is positioned properly and the coupler is locked. Next, attach the safety chains to the tow vehicle at the attachment points provided on the hitch. Attach the lighting plugs and the breakaway cable. Be sure the lining wires are protected from being caught or torn during towing. Secure the latch with a bolt or pin. Check all trailer lights at this time. This should include brake lights and turn signals. Finally, raise and stow the trailer tongue jack and release the parking brake. Before operating the 3632T, it is essential to perform a visual inspection of the lift. Details of this inspection can be found in the operator's manual stored in the manual compartment on the platform. Your visual inspection should include a check for cracked welds, loose parts including nuts and bolts, and any missing or damaged parts. Pay special attention to the platform retaining pins and bracket, the hydraulic cylinder mounting area, and all pivot pins and bearings. All structural welds at these critical areas should be checked at this time. Be sure to inspect the main power cord and all other electrical connections for frayed or broken wires. Review the battery condition and all fluid levels prior to use. Check the hydraulic fluid level with a sight glass located on the side of the hydraulic reservoir compartment. Fluid must be visible and at the level indicated for proper operation. Next, swing out the battery tray and remove the caps to check the water level. The water level should be above the plates. And remember, batteries emit explosive gases. When servicing, do not smoke or allow any sparks or open flames around the battery. Always wear safety glasses when working on or near a battery. Use the battery condition indicator gauge to check battery charge. If the batteries are not fully charged, connect the grounded extension cord into a 120 volt outlet and then into the boom's main power receptacle to recharge the batteries. The lift may be used while the battery is charging. Be sure to keep all electrical cords clear of the boom's operation and disconnect all power cords prior to moving the boom. Brand new deep cycle batteries may require several charge-discharge cycles before showing fully charged on the indicator gauge. 
See Operator's Manual for complete charger instructions. Next, visually check all hydraulic hoses and connections for evidence of oil leaks. If oil is apparent on any of the fittings or hoses, do not use the lift until it has been checked by a qualified service technician. And remember, hydraulic oil leaks are under high pressure and can penetrate skin causing serious injury or death. Never use your hands or fingers to test for hydraulic leaks. Finally, inspect all four outriggers, including pivot pins and foot pads, to be sure they are in good condition and working properly. If you notice any damaged or missing parts during this inspection, do not use the lift. Contact your supervisor, tag the lift, turn off master power switch and remove all keys. Lock both housing covers. Once you have completed your visual inspection, you are ready to set up the lift. First, review the operator's manual, as well as all instructional decals on the lift. To position the lift for its maximum use, review the range of motion decal located next to the lower control box. Now, position the lift at the desired work area. Survey the site for potential hazards and remember that this lift is to be used only on firm surfaces and must be able to be leveled prior to use. Always be certain that the surface you are working on can support the weight of the lift and does not have any soft spots. Check for overhead obstructions that may interfere with the boom's path of travel and use extra care when operating in these areas. And remember, it is unlawful to operate this equipment within 10 feet of high voltage lines of 50,000 volts or less. This machine is not insulated and does not provide protection for personnel from contact with or close proximity to any live electrical power source. Read the operator's manual and warning decals on the lift for additional details concerning the safe clearances from working near power lines. Watch for moving vehicles and cordon off the area around the lift with barricades when traffic or co-workers are present. Before use, always review the manual for proper operating procedure. First, apply the parking brake. Next, remove the lighting plug, safety chains, and breakaway cable from the tow vehicle. Release the trailer coupler. Now rotate the trailer tongue jack to the vertical position and lower it until the trailer coupler is raised enough to clear the tow vehicle. You must move the tow vehicle away from the lift prior to use. Never operate the boom while coupler is still engaged. You are now ready to deploy the outriggers. Open the lower control panel on the left side of the turntable. Set the key switch to ground controls. The control panel automatically runs a diagnostic check when the boom is powered on. Do not operate a function until the check is completed to avoid an inaccurate read. The display panel will read bell jacks a step above when the lift is ready for operation. Release both emergency stop buttons, one in the lower controls and one in the platform. The outriggers can be deployed using auto level, in which case all will deploy simultaneously, individually, or in pairs. To deploy all outriggers at once, press and hold the extend and auto level buttons at the same time. The lift will automatically deploy the outriggers until level. Individually deploy outriggers by pressing and holding the extend and corresponding outrigger button at the same time. Always deploy the outriggers until the lift is level. When properly leveled, two lights at each outrigger button and the light at the auto level button will be on. Do not attempt to use this lift without all four outriggers firmly in contact with the ground and the auto level indicator LED lit. Failure to comply with this warning will result in serious injury or death.